Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back. We are here with part two of our guinea pig medical emergency kit. So let's just dive right on in. So sitting at number 12 is probiotics such as Benabac. You would use probiotics in conjunction with antibiotics. You would give a probiotic one hour before or one hour after giving an antibiotic. And what the probiotic do does is restore the good bacteria that the antibiotic would strip. Sitting at number 13, we have saline solution. So this is the one that I have sitting here at home. You can probably get this at your local pharmacy over the counter. And I just use this to kind of help sterilize any surface wound that a guinea pig may, may get. Sitting at number 14 will be polysporin or, or neosporin. That is an antibiotic ointment. You probably already have that in your own medical kit or medicine cabinet in the bathrooms. Surface wounds, it'll help kill the bacteria and it'll just speed up the healing. Sitting at number 15 is betadine. Now, I have a bottle of betadine. I have not had to use it yet, but it is still good to have. Sorry, one second. So, betadine is an antiseptic for treatment of common skin infections around the nails or just like minor cuts or burns or abrasions. So I would use betadine in conjunction with the polysporin or neosporin. Next on the list is grapeseed oil. Now, most people would have coconut oil and while coconut oil is okay to use, I find that it tends to clog up the pores on my, on my skinny pigs. So I no longer use the coconut oil, but I use grapeseed oil, which does not clog up the pores. Now, either one will be fine to use. You can use it to help clean the ears. Uh, most common is people using olive oil for that though. But with my skinny pigs, I use the grapeseed oil to rejuvenate their skin, also to remove any dead skin cells that are sitting there. Next on the list is oatmeal paw butter. So oatmeal paw butter is used for dry, cracked skin. As it says in the title or name of it, it's used for their paws. So you would use that as like a prevention before it becomes something severe or fungal. Number 18 is vet wrap. So the purpose of vet wrap is to hold gauze pads or medication in place. If your guinea pig happens to get some sort of wound or even bumble foot and you need to wrap it, then vet wrap will hold everything in place or it should. Next on the list, we have styptic powder. Now, when you do nail trims, every animal has, even us, we're not animals, but we have what's called a quick. And if we trim our nails too short, it becomes painful and sometimes might bleed. Well, that happens with guinea pigs as well. And styptic powder is, it's, how do I describe styptic powder? So styptic powder is an anti-hemorrhagic agent that will stop light wounds from bleeding. 
A lot of veterinarians, professional pet groomers, and pet parents will use this on their dogs, cats, guinea pigs, rabbits, maybe even birds. I highly recommend having styptic powder in your emergency kit because guess what? Even the very best of us who work with guinea pigs all the time will still have accidents and still get the quick. Number 20, you might have guessed it. Number 20 is nail trimmers. So it does not have to be this specific type. This is just the type that I use. I also use people nail clippers. Guinea pigs do need their nails trimmed every six to eight weeks. Some, some guinea pigs will need it prior to that and some guinea pigs might need it done even a longer period after that. But generally speaking, every six to eight weeks, you will want to trim your guinea pig's nails. And our bonus item for today, our bonus item is Manuka honey. Honey, Manuka honey is another antiseptic or antibiotic treatment. Um, it's been known to help really well with cases of bumblefoot. Alright, stay tuned for part three. I hope this is useful to I hope this has been useful for you. And I will see you all in part three. Take care.